talking about the two subjects, you worked your way through the Millennium Development Goals over since the beginning of Lent, mm -hmm. so, um, and, and how they have an impact on, on the church. Uh, and uh, I mean, whether you like Bono's music or not, it's not important uh, in supporting the Millennium Development Goals. Recognizing world need, which has been recently ratcheted up by the situation in Haiti. I just spent a week with the Bishop Durison, the Bishop of Haiti, um, and, and so rather than stick to the script, the first thing you're going to get is a report on what's going on in the Diocese of Haiti, uh, which is the largest diocese in the Episcopal Church. There are more Episcopalians in, in Haiti than there are in any diocese in continental United States. Um, Every single institutional building in the, the Episcopal Church in Haiti has been destroyed. There are not, there's not one that's inhabited, not one school, uh, not one orphanage, not the cathedral itself was destroyed, and, and all of the artwork in the cathedral. Uh, they had a whole series of very famous frescoes in the, in the Trinity Cathedral, Port-au-Prince, uh, gone. The bishop's house is gone. Uh, most of the clergy who lived in houses, their houses are gone. Uh, there was a theological school uh, in Haiti to train priests that is gone. And that's just a snapshot of a single group in Haiti. You can imagine when you multiply that by hundreds of groups in the Western Hemisphere. It will be many years we go, so you know, it's going to need a lot of site help. Uh, and were they developing the development goals today, they probably would have added an eighth one, which was to support the people of Haiti. How difficult the future of Haiti is going to be. Haiti was already, uh, it's interesting, Bishop Durison, his attitude about all of this is that, that it's an opportunity for a new Easter. God has called the people of Haiti to a whole new beginning. Um, believe it or not, in Haiti right now, the, the Episcopal Church is growing at a rate that they can't even manage. People are flocking to the Episcopal Churches, which of course are no longer in buildings. They're all either in tents or out in the open. Uh, and uh, people uh, are, are turning back to what I would call traditional religion in Haiti, uh, moving away from some of the, the groups that would be peculiar to Americans, voodoo groups and uh, those kinds of groups and turning to traditional Christianity. And so, I mean, again, more the other kind he needs is he needs missionaries uh, to deal with the flood of people who are coming to uh, the Episcopal Church in Haiti to be a part of the church. So it's a very interesting time for them. Uh, yeah. Bishop Durson smiles all the time. Uh, I don't know how he does it, but uh, after watching everything that he watched, he told the story about his house collapsing, um, how his, uh, his wife and two children were, and he were at home uh, when the earthquake hit at 4.50 PM. And uh, he got out the front door. His wife got most of the way out the front door, but got trapped in the rubble. And his kids had stayed in the house. They were in the back of the house. Uh, and they got in the doorway and rode it out uh, and were buried. But they had gotten in a position to where they would be safe under the rubble. And so they, they managed to to pull uh, Bishop Durison's wife out, but she had some severe damage to her leg. Um, and then they started digging for the kids and, and just felt great relief when they found both of the kids virtually unharmed. Uh, that the walls had fallen just the right way uh, uh, in this two-story house that they had been in the first story. Uh, so they, they were safe. And so by comparison to to all of his neighbors, he was very fortunate. In his neighborhood, there are no houses left anywhere. And 
there were many, many deaths uh, in, in that neighborhood. So, but that's that's the sort of situation when we're talking about millennium development. Um, when you go to the parts of the world that are dealing with these things, that's the kind of lifestyle you find. 